Hello. Is it Christmas? No. Is my room clean? No. Am I doing this anyway? Yes. And I'm gonna scoot you back a little bit. <gasps> okay. Today I am doing a what I got for Christmas haul and I've always wanted to do this and I bought myself a $700 camera for a late Christmas present which I don't regret should I regret yes um, anyway so I need to make that money back somehow get me famous and I will I will earn that money back <laughs> um, anyway so um, I'm gonna do the official youtuber thing I'm not bragging I don't care if it sounds like I am, I just wanted to say that because I want to sound like a YouTuber. Um, fake it till you make it, baby. And yeah, I'm just doing what I got for Christmas and let's get into it. This one is from my mama. And it is, sorry, I'm going to keep like, and everyone's going to hate me. It is this Alaska Last Frontier sweater. Um... If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Alaska and everything that has to do with Alaska. And if you know me, you also judge me for that, but I don't care because I'll never stop talking about Alaska. And I was going to wear that, but I already wore it to work and now it's dirty and what can you do, right? Okay, next, I think I'm going to do makeup first because... I think that would be a good, fun thing to start with. So I got this MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. <gasps> Look at that focus, Ma. Oh my God. Maybe the $700 was worth it. Um, This is the shade NC10. This is one of the lightest shades they have because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I got the Kat Von D um, Locket Blotting Powder in the light, and it looks like that. And all this, like, some of this is from my grandparents, some of this is so, if I remember who it's from, I'll say. I think, oh, I bought this one for myself. This is the Tarte, it's still in its box. This is the Tarte, um, Toasted Palette, I think. I haven't even opened it, so I could be getting scammed. But look at how pretty that is. Loves it. Oh, there she goes. So pretty. I bought this at Macy's in the makeup department, and it's cute. It smells good. It smells like chocolate. Not that anyone gives a flying fuck, but if you do, now you know. Anywho. Then I got these Revolution Makeup Revolution London palettes from my mother. These ones are eyeshadow and these ones are face. Super cute. I love a good palette. Then I think my mom also bought me this one. This is On a Whimsy by Colourpop. And if you know me, I love ColourPop on a whimsy. Oh shit, I've been looking in the viewfinder, haven't I? Oh my god, I'm officially awful. Okay, well that, I already fucked it up. <laughs> How many minutes are, five minutes in, and the video is ruined. Look at those beautiful colors. I'm gonna look in the camera now. And then I picked out this Kylie lip kit which is obviously doesn't really look like a kid anymore. It's not in a box, but it is, um, what is this? Oh, it's Candy K. I was trying to figure out, like, which was, like, one of the older colors because I used to have one, and I think I still have it, but it's, like, all crusty because it's, just, like, from 2015. But, um, I know this was, I'm pretty sure this was one of the original colors, so I got that because... Why not? And then I got this 
Rapidly Renew Rose Quartz Facial Roller from Ulta from my sister, which I absolutely love. If you put it in the fridge or the freezer and then you roll it on your face, it helps with puffiness, with... I like to pretend that it's like a gua sha and it like forms your face, but I don't actually know if it does because it doesn't say anything about it, but we can pretend, right? Right. Anyway, um, then these are from Marshalls. These are just this pack, I don't know if that's a, nice, a good word for that, but it's this box of um, earrings and they're like gradually get a little bit bigger and I currently have the second biggest ones in my double hole, <laughs> my double hole, um, and there's like circle ones and then there's square ones and yeah, I think this was like 12 bucks so not a bad deal because who doesn't need some just plain good old fake diamond fake gold earrings oh and i also got these ones these hoops from there too i think these were like probably around the same love marshalls speaking of marshalls i think my mom got me these just these little kind of jogger sweatpants moment i also have the black version on because it was a two pack for 17 bucks can't beat that marshall's love you sponsor me i don't think they sponsor anyone but if they do it should be me next i got this emerald green robe from target put it on i slept in this last night because it's just i was freezing and i feel like i look like like lord farquaad in this like i feel like this is totally something he would wear but and I'm still looking in the viewfinder. Kill me, sue me. Um, but yeah, I love this and it's so nice. And I've been obsessed with emerald green lately and always. I'm pretty sure I loved emerald green as a kid too. Old dab, old dabbits. Yep, old dabbits die hard. Next up is this CC exclusives. Um, kind of beanie hat. I don't know if it's a beanie or if it's a hat or if it's both. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna try that on because, um, it's, it's, it's not the vibe right now. It's not the vibe! Um, that is from, this is from my sister and she got it from Shields. I don't know if Shields is like a countrywide thing or if it's just where we live. I don't know. But she also got me these, what are, what's the brand? CC Exclusives. These little mittens that match. And my mom also got a pair of these and she got the black ones. And I think they're so cute and they're so soft and they keep me warm in the mornings when I have to go out in the freezing cold at 7am to go to work. Yay. <laughs> this is the Tree Hut Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub. Try saying that 10 times fast. You won't be able to. I don't know. I, this was like the first Christmas present I picked out for myself like in late November. And then it went missing somewhere in our house. And we couldn't find it. And I was like, did I even buy it? Because then I bought the scrub thing. And I'm like, well, do I even have like any exfoliator? Um, but yeah, I've never exfoliated before. So I'm excited to try it. And I guess we will see how it goes. I will let you guys know. And then this was the other thing I got with that. Those are both from Target, by the way. I got this Arc Teeth Whitening Pen. And this was $15, I believe, which isn't like... I could be wrong, but I feel like teeth whitening stuff is generally, like, kind of spendy. So, not a bad deal. It is a travel one, so it's, like, probably doesn't have as much in it as normally would but I don't really care I used it once already and call me nuts but I think it's starting to work I don't know we'll see just like everything else we'll see and then I got this Urban Decay all night setting spray this has been a staple of mine since like the seventh grade I haven't had this stuff in probably like a year though because it's not even like a spendy thing like it's not that much for makeup or for setting spray but I just like always had the, this thing about like buying myself things. Then this was like my first like purchase for myself that I got for Christmas. This is when I got.
got that Tarte palette um, when I was at Macy's. I found this cute, oh my god, it's so cute, this cute set of Mario Badescu, Mario Badesi products. Um, and it comes with this little tiny little thing. Can y'all see that? Come on. Oh, that focus. Come on, Ma. Come on. Um, this is vitamin C serum. And then these are like, I don't know if these are their full size products. I don't know if they come any bigger than this, but it's enough for me. This is, um, uh, aloe, calomel, and calomel? Did I just say ca chamomile? Not calomel, cal chamomile, chamomile, and lavender facial spray. And then the Witch Hazel, Witch Hazel and Lavender Toner, um, pretty fun. Don't know if they actually do anything. I don't know, can't really tell. And then this cleansing oil, which I actually really love this one, so. Next up is this Tis the Season Bath and Body Works candle, which I went to um, Bath and Body Works in like maybe like fall, late fall, when they started getting their seasonal stuff out. And, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. And I was smelling this and I loved it. I don't know if my sister remembered that I loved this or she just loved it because I know she has one, but she surprised me with this and I honestly forgot it even existed. But I remember the Tis the Season name because Tis the Damn Season, bitch. We are Swifties up in this household. So, you know, Tis the Damn Season. Merry Christmas, even though it's like January 11th. My secret's out. Um, but yeah, that is from my sister. And then this cute little candle is from my dad and my stepmom. And I don't know where it's from because the tag was like removed. But my sister's, she got one. And her tag was on there. But I remember it was from this little, I think it was like a, um, like a small like local shop in Stillwater. Which, if you know what that is, good for you. If you don't, which, good for you also. Um. <laughs> this smells so good. I literally think this is so adorable. And we were sitting, we went out to eat um, for Christmas with my dad and stepmom, and we were like all smelling my candle and my sister's candle. We were trying to like, differentiate them, and we literally looked so stupid. We were like, oh, this one's more like musky. This one's like more like sweet. Oh, God, I wish you guys smelled this. Praise the Lord. Anyway, and then... Um, they also got me from this small shop down by the river, um, St. Croix River, right? Or is it the Hudson? Do I live by the Hudson River? St. Croix. I think it was St. Croix. I don't know. I don't know. Sue me. I don't know. Anyway, um, they got me this copper and, um, chakra crystal, um, bracelet because they know I'm a hippy dippy little girl and my sister also got one I don't know if they're the same but they're oh my god I just love them I think they're so cute praise praise okay and then they also got me a pair of um socks that are in the wash somewhere but they're like aloe vera filled and like socks and candles are like my main go-to's for myself for other people you have some socks, you have some socks, you have some candles, you have some candles, like, just perfect. Done. Next, <laughs> um, is this hair tinsel kit, which I'll open for you guys. It was from Amazon, and it was only, like, $13, and for all of these little ditties, can y'all see them? There's, like, I don't know, probably 10 different colors in there. Um, and I clearly already used some, and I'm not gonna lie, they're not the easiest thing to, well, A, put in your hair, but, I mean, it's just, it's not like they're hard, it's just like, if you're not like a hair person, which I clearly am not, if you can see my hair, I'm not really a hair person, I'm a makeup girl, 
um, but I'm not a hair girl. Um, but yeah, I don't know, they're fun, they're fun to wear, and what can you say? You know, I think, like, for a night, like, I slept in them, and then, like, half of them fell out in the night, but, like, if you just go out for a night and you're, like, clubbing or doing whatever, they look super cute, you take a picture of the flash on and it reflects, and you're just like, mm, -mm. like, who is that bitty? It's me, and it's my hair tinsel from Amazon, so go get some. Next thing I got is this Hunt a Killer Death at the Dive Bar. Not sponsored, but I wish it was because Hunt Killer does sponsor people, and, um, if they are going to sponsor anyone, it should be this bitty right here. Um, I didn't even know that they had, like, separate games. I knew they had a subscription box, which is, like, correct me if I'm wrong, they send you a new box every month if you sign up for this, like, yearly thing. And it's, like, you solve this mystery over time. But they had this at Target, and it's, like, a one-time, like, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to wait for it to come in the mail. It's just this, like murder mystery in a box which i had done these from unsolved case files um which is very similar um but honestly i'm rocking with the haunted killer because it's they give you like actual like tangible well so does the other thing but there was like a little coaster and there was this like bottle opener and these like m this matchbox which i just thought was really cool <laughs> I sounded like such an idiot when I said that. And I just hit myself in the throat. Um, but yes, I my mind is a little pea size. Um, but I I have sat down with this and I have looked at half the documents. And then I was like, okay, it's time for a nap. Um, oh my god, it shows you in the back. But yeah, there's just this, all this little cool stuff. But I do need to like actually take some time and sit down even though I'm working and I'm going to school full time and I'm trying to do this. And we'll get there eventually. Eventually. Okay. I feel like I am forgetting something, which if I am, <sighs> strike me. I don't know. Like, I really, like, I feel like I genuinely am forgetting something. But if I am, maybe I'll insert a picture if I'm feeling like it. Who knows? Um, uh, but the last thing I got was what I was talking about in the beginning of this video, which is the Sony, 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 Sony. Can I pronounce anything correctly? No, I can't. Sony Digital v Z Z V1. <laughs> and I have dyslexia when it comes to V's and Z's. Like, I cannot tell the difference. So, it's... So, it's ZV1. ZV1. Yes. Um, but this was, I got this, um, on sale at Best Buy. It was $6.49, but after tax, it was, like, almost exactly $700. Um, but it was $100 off the original price, so if I hadn't gotten the deal when I did, it would have been, like, $800. And this was, like, genuinely the biggest purchase I've ever made for myself. And, honestly, I don't regret it because the camera I had before that I tried to film multiple videos on it was absolute shit. And I'm not going to say what camera it was, but it was shit. Okay? It was shit. And then I just got this Extreme Pro memory card off Amazon to go with it. Um, because if you do get this camera, it doesn't come with a memory card. So if you're thinking about getting it, make sure you order a memory card. You can just look up, like, what memory card goes with the ZV-1. And it'll tell you, so it's not too hard. Um, but the little flip screen, which I keep looking at instead of looking at the camera, is right there. And it's so cool. And the focus, like, let's see. The focus is just, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> it's amazing. But yes, thank you for watching. I love you. Goodbye.